Oh yeah. Yeah. It's time, boys and girls. <laughs> thumbs up the like button is right there bruh click it man all right it's time ladies and gentlemen it's time we're gonna culture we're gonna cultivate and culminate all of the nintendo direct news that's being reported and all signs are pointing to this week an announcement sometime this week and I'm gonna tell you the target date that I think is gonna um, happen this is footage from our last Nintendo Direct oh all the way back in September it's been so long all right this week known insider Zippo he let us know that that we're going to have two Nintendo Directs all right we're going to get an Animal Crossing fo Focus Direct and a full-blown Nintendo Direct. I think... Don't worry, we're going to get to uh, the Nintendo Direct this week news. I think we're going to get the full-blown Direct first. And then the Animal Crossing Direct after closer to March when Animal Crossing is about to launch. It makes sense. Now... Um, it's been reported that there's going to be Sabi. Sabi, he's very credible. Um, he's uh, gone on record to say that we're not going to get any Nintendo Direct news this past week. This week that just passed. All right. And so first week in February, no Nintendo Direct news announcements or anything. Dudes, I've said this before. If you go check Nintendo's record. Last year, the Nintendo Direct fell on February 13th, 2019. Guess what? February 13th is within the next week, a, um, a Thursday to be exact. That would be perfect. I'm thinking we get an announcement Monday, Tuesday, and the Direct on Thursday would be sent. Nintendo needs to tell us what games we're going to be playing in 2020 they've they've been dropping some games every now and then but to have it all in one big direct i think it's time um it's been a little dry as far as releases in um january and february um, things are going to heat up a little bit more march animal crossing that's going to be huge and so there was reported that there's going to be no direct news the past week, the first week in February. But with two directs, and this is why I think we're going to get some direct news next week. We have two directs um, reported or leaked to be in February. We have three weeks left in February. It'll be a little difficult for Nintendo to just do it back to back one week this and one week that I think we're going to get the full-blown Nintendo Direct next week take a week off to breathe and then the last week in February we get the Animal Crossing Focus Direct that leads us into March it makes perfect sense bruh but we're not done with this video bruh we got some more news bro the coronavirus is starting to affect gaming, bruh. All three platform holders. First, Outer Worlds for the Switch um, has been officially delayed. This is what uh, the developer said on their official Twitter. We're delaying Outer Worlds on Nintendo Switch due to the coronavirus impacting the virtuous team working on the port. 
to provide them enough time to finish development. We'll now be releasing the physical version on cartridge. Once we have a new launch date, we'll let you know. And so they said, because of the coronavirus, it's impacting the development team. A Asia, a lot of Asian territories, locations, China, whatever. They are quarantined on lockdown. It's affecting flight, business, production, families. And so um, it's affecting gaming. But not only Nintendo Switch releases. <coughs> it's being rumored. Now this is definitely in the rumor mill. That it's impacting Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5 production. Both platform holders are still targeting holiday 2020. They've never, they've not come out and said anything is being delayed. But if this coronavirus gets worse rather than better, it could affect the launch of um, PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X. So we'll stay tuned. I got you guys covered for the latest news. Is it the apocalypse? Is everybody going to start turning into zombies? We'll see. It's going to be interesting. All right. Next news item. This one. <coughs> I couldn't believe this, bro. Bro. It's being reported. This is coming um, courtesy of DualShockers.com. That Nintendo actually reached out to get Sora and Super Smash Brothers. But Disney denied it. Disney did not want Sora in Smash. Why? Why wouldn't Disney want Sora in Smash? Now, my only thinking is, okay, Nintendo's now partnered with Universal to come out with their theme park, which is going to be in direct competition with Disney. And so it would probably be a conflict of interest or business interest if we're, um, um, Disney is um, promoting their character on a Nintendo platform and Nintendo is now in business with Disney's main competition as, as far as theme parks are concerned. So who knows when and when the timing was of this whole deal going through or not falling through because this um, Disney... I mean, um, Nintendo Universal Studios partnership, uh, it's, it was um, announced years ago, and the park is just now about to um, be um, open. That's why more news is heating up on it. And so maybe D Disney was feeling away, bro. Interesting to see if Pokemon is going to stay on Disney, uh, on Disney. <laughs> um, after all this whole Universal stuff. But I thought that was interesting. And the last news item... Animal Crossing New Horizons is available right now to preload on your Nintendo Switch. That's right. If you go to the eShop right now, you could preload the game. So at launch, you'll be good to go. You know your boy is about to go and preload it today or tomorrow or whenever I get around to it. Going to preload this game. So at launch, we'll be lit. We'll be good to go. We'll be picking them apples and digging up them shells, boy. Also, uh, Nintendo's rumored to be, well, not rumored. They officially stated that um, they plan on adding cloud saves in the future to Animal Crossing New Horizons. It needs to be, bro. Cloud save just needs to be a standard. Nintendo, figure it out to get past the cheaters and figure out to have cloud saves in all your games. Splatoon, it should be just across the board. All right, dudes, what do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video, bro? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro. Oh, wrong thing. I'll do my outro yet. Bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. We out, boy. You're still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I got to hook you up. That's right. We're having monthly giveaways. $60 eShop codes for your Nintendo Switch. You can choose any game of your choice. How do you enter? One, subscribe. Make sure you're subscribed to this fire. Two, make sure you're following me on Twitter at Obi-Wan Plays. And that's it. 
you're in for our monthly giveaways. But that's not it. It gets even better. Do you want to game with your boy every day? Do you want to join our private Nintendo Switch Gaming Discord? Become a member. Three ways to join. One, through YouTube. There's a join button right below this video. It's two, through Twitch. Twitch Prime, you can do it for free or just subscribe through Twitch. And number three, the third way to join, patreon.com backslash obi one place. You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. See you later. Peace.